You're welcome to this tutorial on how to back up a course and its content on UEW Learning Management System. This tutorial is strictly for lecturers. In this tutorial, we are going to look at how we can back up our whole course, including the course code and title and the various activities in the course. To back up your course, you'll have to log in. After logging in, you have to open the particular course that you want to do the backup on. So in my case, I have model demo as my course. So I'm going to click on it to open it. After opening it on the left side of your screen, that is the navigation pane, you have to scroll down and look for administration. Under administration, you see course administration. Then you come down and look for backup. You click on backup to open it. You'll be presented with options of which you are to choose. So with the first one, we have IMS common cartridge. We wouldn't need that one in our backup process. And then we have to take note that since the course will be taught to a different set of students in the coming academic year. We don't need to keep the data of the users in the backup process. So it means that we are going to exclude the students who have been enrolled into the course since we will be using it to teach new sets of students. So anything relating to the student in this backup process will be excluded. So, for instance, enrolled users, we are going to exclude it. The system has automatically excluded them. And then, user role assignment. That one too, we can exclude it. And we are going to include activities and resources. Activities and resources such as quizzes, assignments, chats, forums, all of them will be included. And then we have the blocks. The blocks is what you see on your course page you see week one or topic one topic two those are the blocks so we can decide to include them and then we can include the filters we can also include comments but the system is not allowing us to include comments since it's related to the users and then we can also include calendar events that is event that happen on a particular date so we can also include a calendar event the rest or what is under the calendar events the system is not allowing us to include means that by default we cannot include them since they are all related to the users on the system the most or one of the important thing to include is the question bank and then we have the groupings if you have groupings in your course you can also check the groupings option to include the format in the grouping so the most important things are the things that the system has checked for us already. So we're going to go ahead and click on next. After clicking on next, we'll be presented with a series of activities and resources that we used in the course. So we have the opportunity or the option to choose which one to include in our backup process. So we can decide to exclude the course outline or include it. So if you want to exclude, you just have to uncheck it. So in my case, I have excluded the news forum. Maybe you did a trial quiz or a trial test. You want to exclude it. You just have to uncheck it to exclude it. So after choosing everything that you want to include or what you want to exclude, you come down here and click on next. After clicking on next, you'll be given the opportunity to review all what you've selected for the backup process. So we're going to go through them. As you can see, I excluded news forum. So it has been excluded over here. All the checked ones have been shown with a green checked icon. So after going through everything, and seeing that everything is okay we can go ahead and click on perform backup if not we can click on previous so that it will take us to the previous page 
and do any necessary correction or changes that we want to do so since i have no changes to do i'll go ahead and click on perform backup and as you can see the backup file was successfully created so all i have to do is to click on continue after clicking on continue and scrolling down you see all the backup files the first one is the current one or the one i'm doing right now so all you need to do is to click on download so i'll click on download and then it is asking me to save so i click on save to save it you see that it's downloading over here so my file has been downloaded I can click over here to show in folder then you can see that my file has been downloaded over here for easy identification we can decide to rename the file let's say we we teach more than one course so we can use the course code of that particular course to rename our backup file so that we can easily identify it now after downloading the file you have two options in keeping the file you can either keep it on your physical machine or you can upload it onto the cloud using Dropbox or Google Drive to upload your backup file onto Google Drive all you need to do is to log in into Google When you are logged in into Google, you could see your profile showing here. After logging in, you type drive.google.com. You type in drive.google.com and you press enter. So if you're already logged in, you'll be able to see anything that you've uploaded into your Google Drive account so as you can see I've uploaded a whole lot of stuff in my Google Drive account so all you need to do is to create a new folder so I'm going to name my folder course backup So this is the folder I created in my Google Drive. I'm going to go ahead and uh, open it. Then I'm going to open where my file is located. I'm going to click, hold and drag and place it there. So you see that it will start uploading your file, the backup file. The backup file upload is complete so it means that now i have my whole course backup saved on the cloud so this is shortly how to backup a course on uew learning management system